Thank you for coming along on my boss mom journey, trying to keep it together and figure things out along the way. Let's get started. Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. If you are subscribed already, welcome back. And my name is Janique Renee, also known as that brown girl that tailors. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to put an invisible zipper inside of a dress or a shirt. But just pretty much how to put an invisible zipper in. So it's pretty much going to be practice fabric that I'm using to show you the different steps. So I'm going to be showing you how to do it on a industrial sewing machine if you have one and then I'm also going to be showing you how to do it on a home sewing machine if you just have that which is perfectly fine this technique could be done on any type of sewing machine as long as you have the right um presser foots and when I say presser foot I mean these little detachable things that come with the sewing machine or if you have an industrial sewing machine most of the time you gotta buy it so that's what we're going to be doing today welcome back don't forget to like subscribe to this channel um and yeah let's get started okay guys so for this project the things that you will need to um pretty much put in a invisible zipper would be obviously an invisible zipper um mine is 22 inches but you can get a um six uh eight inch zipper to practice or um ten inch whatever kind of zipper you want to practice with you can now yes it's long and the fabric is pretty short but i am going to show you how i um pretty much cut the um cut the zipper to fit the garment or whatever i'm using so i per personally like to buy a 22 inch zipper for everything for everything that i do um whether it's pants whether it's um whether it's a dress, whatever, a skirt. I like to have the 22-inch zipper. Why? Because it's easier to work with. So if I need to make the zipper longer than 8 inches, I won't be able to go if I only... I wouldn't be able to pretty much make it bigger if I only had an 8-inch zipper. So my preference is I usually buy um 22 inch zippers but again seven inch zip i mean eight inch zipper is perfectly fine so again you're gonna need a zipper i have two because i'm gonna be showing you how to do it on a industrial sewing machine and also a home sewing machine so you're gonna need zippers you're gonna need a pin to mark it now this pin is pretty darn cool hopefully you can see the name um this pin actually comes off with heat so I'm going to mark my um, where my zipper is going to end with the pin. So make sure you have some type of pin or chalk that works too. Um, you're gonna need a ruler, obviously, to measure exactly how far you want to, the um the zipper to come down. And of course, you're gonna need your sewing machine, whether it's a home sewing machine or it's an industrial sewing machine, and the presser foots to go with it. Um, you're gonna need invisible pre presser foots. Um, not just regular presser foots because um, there's a big difference and I'll explain why I feel like I'm missing I definitely am missing another presser foot but oh, got it okay great so as you can see these are my presser foots I'm gonna move the light in a little closer so for my industrial sewing um, sewing machine this is my invisible presser foot as you can see it has two slits and those slits are for the ridge of the zipper to go in one for the right side and one for the left side that's what the invisible zipper foot looks like now when you do our right, when you're doing zippers with this foot you only need this zipper foot um, this zipper foot I really like um, to use it with certain projects um, mainly stretch fabrics and things like that um, because they tend to move a lot and I think this for me it's best um, to use this type of presser foot now there's other type of presser foot you have the right presser foot as you can see the little hole on one side and you also have a left presser foot which you can see the hole up oh, sorry sorry let me pick that back up um, which you can see the hole on the other side. So basically, depending on what side you're sewing the zipper on, that's the side that you're going to use. Now, I tend to like the other zipper foot better, which is two and two and one. Because with these, once you finish one side, you have to unscrew your machine. Like right there. And pretty much insert the next zipper foot to switch. So that's 
kind of annoying sometimes but with with designing and sewing you want to take your time anyway you don't want to be rushing and trying to get it done quicker because that's how mistakes happen anyway so now i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna show you how oh one more thing i'm sorry we need pins we have to make sure that you have pins for this um this project my pin cushion is right behind me but i have pins here show you so you need pins make sure you have pins to keep your zipper in place also as uh you also need i'm sorry i'm forgetting all the stuff we need you need a seam ripper a seam ripper just in case you um just in case you mess up and you have to take the threads out seam ripper must be on hand and this my friend is one of my best friends to use it's called wonder tape i'll put the link in the script description below and i'll also make a list of the things that you might need to put a zipper um in a, an invisible zipper in your garment as well this my friend i love this because this right here helps with um fabrics that are really stretchy you actually go ahead and put this right under the zipper foot um right not zipper foot sorry right under the zipper against between the zipper and the fabric and when you're sewing it helps for the fabric not to stretch oh my god if you're a designer you know how it is when you have a warped back the when the zipper is not straight it's kind of warped you know what i'm talking about so this right here is the best tape to use it's called wonder tape again all of these items that i am using i will put it down in the description <laughs> the description below okay let's get started okay so the first thing that you're going to need to do is you're going to need to press your zipper um when i mean press your zipper as you can see the feet of the zipper um, when you first have the zipper it's actually uh, sorry about the light and I'm trying to fix it right now it's curled in like so so when you have to do is you have to uncurl your zipper by pressing it flat so it looks something like this so when you uncurl your zipper instead of it being flat like this you're gonna have a little something that looks like this you see how the 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 flat piece of the, of the zipper actually kissed so you're gonna have to pretty much uncurl your zipper i hope that makes sense okay so again you're gonna also need your fabric so as you can see hopefully you can see i actually this is muslin so obviously both sides are the same so what i do is i did was write a mark on this side so this is indicating that this is my wrong side and the one without the mark is my right side which is this one so what you are going to go ahead and do is you're going to take your ruler and you are going to mark where you want your zipper to stop so I'm gonna go for and my rule is upside down so I'm gonna go for maybe let's say um let's go to seven we're gonna go to seven seven inches long my so I'm gonna mark here seven inches and both the same so I'm gonna watch seven inches on that so as you can see, or maybe you can't see, I'm marked here seven inches on both sides. Now this is my right side that I marked it on, not my wrong side. So I'm going to take my zipper, my zipper that I already uncurled. And this is how I, I, I get the concept of how to put the zipper on. So when you zip up the zipper, um, this is the way you this is what you see you will only see this this little thing hanging out right so if this is the right side of my fabric and this is the way I want my zipper to be put in so what I do is I unzip it and what you're gonna do is you're gonna flip flip the zipper leg this way just like that why you're flipping it this way is because once it flips back, it's going to be like this. 
and you'll see that little zipper the little zipper flap here so again when you go ahead and put your zipper foot in maybe I'll zip it up a little bit so you can see what I'm talking about you need it to face you like so then you take the zipper foot flap and you twist it the opposite way and lay it on your garment like so so it's gonna look like this it may not look like it may not look right it may not look right but that's exactly how it's going to be once you zip it up and if you know garments and know how they are this is how most skirts are or mer most, mer blah, blah, blah. most shirts are when they have the invisible zipper foot in so again face that zipper forward towards you twist it backwards twist it backwards and that's exactly how the zipper foot is going to be sewn down so the edge without the zipper the side without the zipper is going to be lined up with the ed the raw edge of your fabric so if your side of the the, the zipper um edge is not lined up with the red um I'm sorry, the empty zipper edge is not lined up with your raw fabric, then you possibly have the um, zipper on wrong. So again, take a look on how the zipper is laid against the fabric, like so. And again, once it's stitched, it's going to flip out that way, and that is the correct way to put in the zipper. So right now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna pin it down so again the edge of the fabric I mean the edge of the zipper is gonna be on the raw edge not the side that you zip up I'm gonna go ahead and pin it in with a couple of pins like so you can use as many pins as you want and as least pins as you want. It's totally up to you. But just make sure it doesn't look like this. You need to make sure that the zipper um, fat in the fabric is flat. So I'm going to remove this and I'm going to lay that flat like so. See? And I'm going to pin all the way down until I get to my end point which is at the seven inch mark here put my pen right there where the seven inch mark is and what I'm also gonna do is I'm gonna take my pen and I'm gonna mark on the zipper where I am stopping okay so with this um, sewing machine I am gonna show you obviously the thread is not the same color obviously the zipper uh oh Another thing I wanted to make sure, you have to make sure that your zipper is actually lined up exactly to the fabric. So I'm going to go ahead and change that. I'm going to go ahead and fix that. All right. So now that it's all pinned, I'm going to move this fabric out of the way so you can see exactly what I'm doing. Um, right now, I have the, um, the right zipper foot in. You don't see the hole on this side because the hole is actually on this side. The thread is not the same color as the that's the zipper obviously but when you are working with an actual garment you do want to make sure your zipper is the same color as your fabric and your your, your thread is also matching everything needs to match so I'm gonna move you a little closer so you can see exactly what I'm doing so as you can see I have the right zipper foot in see the hole the hole right there so the hole should be facing the edge of where your zipper is your zipper teeth is away from the edge so you're gonna go ahead and put your press the foot down right along the edge so you're gonna make sure the edge of your zipper foot um, where the needle is pointing down in the hole you're gonna make sure that the um, the zipper teeth is right up against that so I'm going to go ahead and start to stitch. When you stitch the first time, you want to make sure you back stitch, right? Pull that pin out. You can leave it in if you like. 
but I hate to leave it in because when you make the zipper too flat with the pen, you tend to go too close to the teeth. So when you take the pen out, it actually helps the zipper curl back up a slightly a bit a slight amount and it helps the presser foot and the needle get right where it needs to be. So I backstitched. As you can see, I'm literally sewing at right up against um right up against the zipper and as you can see you can start seeing the zipper kind of rise up a little bit all right i'm always almost to the end all right and when you get to the end do not forget to back stitch because this will come out and that is kind of annoying when you're trying to actually close up the seam behind your zipper so you're going to back stitch a couple times just to make sure it's in place pull that out snip the extra s thread and remember you are Placing your zipper on the wrong side, I mean on the right side of the fabric. As you can see, this is the wrong side. The zipper is sewn flat on the right side of the fabric. Now, this is how it looks if, once you zip it up. Ready? Bam. So, as you can see, one side is already complete. Look at that. One side is already done. And you cannot see the trace of the other side of the zipper. That's why it's called an invisible zipper foot. All right. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to do the other side. But when I do the other side, I'm going to show you how um, you work with the invisible zipper foot that has um, the two holes, the two little slits. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm changing my presser foot, putting on the double invisible zipper foot so now that I am done with my first side I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to pin the opposite side so again this is the right side of the fabric not the wrong side we're gonna do the right side and I am going to place my zipper foot the exact same way as I placed the other one again remember this is the way the zipper foot looks where you want it to look when you zip it up. So you're going to go ahead and you're going to flip it towards the inner side. Place it towards the top and the edge of your fabric. Again, it's going to look weird because you might think that it's not incorrectly. But as long as you place it this way, make sure your zipper is not twisted. When I say not twisted, I'm going to show you what I mean. If your zipper's twisted, you can't tell if it's on the right or the or the wrong side. So you have to make sure that your zipper is laying flat just like this. So I'm gonna go ahead and pin this. Alright, I'm pinning it all the way down to that seven inch mark that we made. way down seven in inch mark and again I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna use my pen to mark it okay so when I say make sure your zipper is not twisted you're gonna make sure your zipper is not twisted make sure it's not tangled and everything make sure it's laying flat make sure it's laying the way that it's supposed to lay so as you can see this one is is completely done so it's laying flat and then this one is gonna go inside like that so when you go and zip it up and when you finally sewing it this is how it looks so it's not twisted. You can see flat. You can see the end result, what the end result is going to be. So just make sure that your zipper is not twisted. Hopefully you can see exactly what I'm talking about. And then, again, I'm going to flip it back this way. So the zipper is tw twisted, but not, twer but not twisted as in a bad twisted. It's twisted in because that's exactly what the end result is going to be once you stitch it down. So this is what it looks like. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to sew. 
we're gonna sew it in so as you can see I have my invisible zipper foot in and this is the double invisible zipper foot so to use this zipper foot what you are going to do is you are going to place your zipper teeth in the edge and the side in which you're working with so we are working with the left side so as you can see I'm going I put my left teeth inside the left side of course obviously if I was to put this here in this it would not work because it will sew on the opposite side of the stitch I mean opposite side of the zipper as you can see if I move it over the literally it's gonna sew right on the opposite side so this is how you know you're doing it right if you are here and your needle lines up right at the edge of the inside of the teeth that is the way it's supposed to be so I'm gonna go ahead and sew it and it's just gonna literally go inside the little mouse hole <laughs> all the way until the end with this once you get to the end you kind of have to gauge it and just pay attention to where that mark is um, because you cannot see it like you can see it with the invisible left zipper foot you kind of gotta just pay attention and gauge it just right so here we go let's start sewing I'm sure that you see that it's inside the little hole on the left hand side I'm gonna stitch and then I'm gonna back stitch. Remove my pen. This with this foot, you definitely want to remove the pens because the pens will stop you from sewing. So as you can see, it's very simple. You don't have to make sure that the um, zipper foot is pressed right up against it because as long as it's going through the hole, it's uh, it's sewing it correctly. All right, we almost at the end. All right, as you can see, remember I told you you have to gauge this. So I'm going to take my pen out. You can also make a mark on the other side if you want to. Like I said, the good thing about this pen is that it's invis it, it disappears once the heat hits it. So I'm going to back stitch a little bit. Make sure my zipper is in place because, like I said, when you start to close it up, it tends to... Um, it tends to um, un undo itself, and that's no fun. Always clip your threads. All right. So, moment of truth, moment of truth. So, we sewed in both sides. As you can see, now it wants to curl this way. Now that both sides are all in. So, we're going to go up, go ahead and zip up the zipper. Bam. That is how you put in the invisible. Look at that invisible for a reason you cannot see the zipper the only thing you see or the only thing you're supposed to see is this little stitch here only thing you're supposed to see as far as the bottom goes how we're going to close this is we're going to take our zipper foot right or left depending on what feels comfortable to you we're going to remove this zipper foot all right we're putting the I put the left one in. We are going to flip our zipper over here and we're going to line up the bottom edges of our fabric like so. And you're going to use pins to do this. Don't just do it whichever way you want to do it. Just make sure you pin it. So we're going to pin it closed. Sorry, my camera's falling. My camera's falling. Hold on, let me fix it. Okay, I think it's good now. All right, so gonna go ahead and pin it all the way to the end of your zipper as best as you can. Now I'm using my invisible zipper um, foot because with this you want to try to get as close to. Let me show you. Sorry, I gotta move the camera. Move the camera. Okay. So with this, you want to try to get as close to the stitch line as possible when you're closing your zipper up. So that's why I use the invisible, I mean the the left invisible zipper foot because it uh, because it's no it's space here, it will allow me to get as close to this as possible. So this is what I'm gonna do. 
Our seam allowance is a half an inch. So I'm going to go ahead and start closing this up, back stitch. And then I'm just going to sew as close to the closure as possible. I'm going to go ahead and back stitch. You don't have to com you don't have to touch it. It does your your um your stitch does not have to touch that the edge of where you stitched at the, at the bottom of your zipper. It does not have to touch. Mm -hmm. Now remember I told you I used a 12 uh 22 inch zipper. Um again, I love this zipper because I cre I I I can control it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just cut this excess zipper off. I'm going to go ahead and sew it down so that way it has its end now. It doesn't come past that. So now, when I flip it over, if I can flip it over, this is what you see. This is what you see. It's completely closed. The zipper's flat. It's invisible. No zipper in sight. All you see is a seam. So you're going to press your seams flat flat when I say press your seams press your seams flat open like so and you're gonna lay it completely on top of the zipper then you're gonna try to go to the bottom you see how this bottom is I'm not gonna go to completely at this bottom maybe a little bit higher up tiny bit not so much so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna make a stitch here I'm gonna go ahead and make a stitch here just like this It's about an inch, maybe less. And that's going to keep your zipper down. It's going to tack your zipper down into your dress. And you're going to also take this flap and you're going to sew it to the edge of your seam allowance. Just so it's not moving and poking you in, in the boudet or in the side or wherever you got the zipper at. Uh, Oh, I hate when that happens. So again, you just sewing the zipper down just to make sure that it's not going to just be flapping around or poking you in the side or whatever, wherever you have the zipper at. It's just going to keep it down, keep it laying down nice and flat. Again, remember always cut your threads. You want a clean, 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 clean finished product. The thread came out a little bit. I think the back stitch didn't stay. So let me go ahead and put that back because I need y'all to see. So this is what I tell you about the back stitching. You must back stitch maybe twice, two times if it's possible because it will come out and it's very annoying. So now that I got that back, this is how your invisible zipper foot, um, your invisible zipper should look inside of your garment. This is be this is our industrial machine um invisible zipper foot and now I'm going to show you how you put an invisible zipper foot in on a home sewing machine. All right, so this is my heavy duty Singer sewing machine. Um this is like one of my favorite sewing machines to use aside from my industrial machine that I have. And pretty much with this sewing machine, um when you do an invisible zipper foot this is the zipper foot that usually comes with the machine. Now, if you're sewing on the left side of the zipper foot, um, which is this side, you will have your sewing machine, um, your presser foot clipped into the left side. If you're sewing the right side of the zipper, um, you're going to be using this little hook here to hook it on to this side so that's pretty much how um you're able to use this foot sewing with the um with the home sewing machine sewing your zipper in as you can see it's almost similar to my um industrial foot it has the little holes on the sides so it's pretty much absolutely similar just a different machine and a different presser foot. It looks a little different. So just like we did the other one, we're gonna put um, one of the zipper, um, the zipper foot on one side. We're gonna sew it, and then we're gonna go ahead on the other side. I'm gonna go ahead and pin it, and then I'll be back. All right, all right, all right. So I already pinned my um, my zipper to my fabric 
on the right side of the fabric as you can see this is the wrong side i pinned it exactly how i explained it last time edge of the zipper without the teeth goes in towards each other and it looks a little something like this so again once this is zipped in it's gonna flip and it's gonna lay flat just like this but inside of the fabric so this is the way you're supposed to put the zipper in showing you one last time so now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna start with the left side because that's the side of the foot that I have in currently all right as you can see I'm just lowering it the presser foot down I am lowering it and making sure the edge of the presser foot is right up against the zipper I'm gonna go ahead and start sewing all right looks a little messy let me move that out the way and then remember don't forget to back stitch because you do not want your zipper to come out so i'm gonna go ahead and sew and as i'm sewing i'm gonna remove these zipper these um pens because remember like i told you it kind of prevents the zipper foot from getting as close to it's get, it actually prevents it actually makes it get too close to the zipper uh the zipper foot and you can actually sew the teeth by mistake so i'm gonna go all the way down towards the end of the zipper foot until we get to that mark. Coming up on that mark. And I remove the pen because we don't want to sew the zipper teeth. Gonna go ahead and back stitch. All right, all set. Okay, so we are now on the right side of the zipper foot. If you guys are wondering, how do you how do you put this in? There's a little lever right here that releases the foot. And once you just press it, it kind of falls off. And then once you take the, the um, presser foot and clip it back under, it just kind of clips under by itself. So you just need this to take it out, but you don't need this to put it in. So that's pretty much how you put your presser foot in. Like I said, on most sewing machines, the um, home sewing machines, this is how it would look. So now we're off doing the right side. We're going to do exactly what we did before. We're going to put this um, as close to the edge of the zipper as possible. Sorry for the camera. I'm trying to multitask here. And then we're going to drop out, press the foot. There we go. So again, we're going to start to sew. And then we're going to back stitch. Sewing. Uh-oh. As you can see, I am not close enough to the edge. So I'm going to go ahead and fix that by just moving the, um, the fabric over slightly. That's better. As you can see, my press the foot. Ew. My press the foot is right at the edge of the fabric now. So I'm going to go ahead and sew. Back stitch. All right, gonna remove this pin. All right, on the way. And there you have it. There you go. It's just like the other one. Just like the other one. So what you're going to do is now you're going to close it up the same exact way we did the, um, the first one. So you're going to fold it together like so. All right. So we're going to put it put it together just like we did the other one. Um, we're going to use the furthest to the right side or the left side, whatever works for you. But just know that if you're going to do it on the left side, you your fabric has to be flipped the other way. But... I suggest you do it this way because you have the measurements right on side. Even though you have it on both sides, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> but whatever way works for you. So I'm going to start on the right side because the right side is going to be closest to where my the end of my zipper um, is. Let's flip that out a tiny bit. Going to go ahead and I'm gonna press the foot down. And I'm going to start sewing. Backstitch. Trying to keep it as open.
open as possible here so I know exactly where I'm going when I get there. So we getting closer. We getting closer. Remember, we just sewing towards the um the stitch here. We're not gonna um we're not gonna connect them. We just sewing towards it, right where that pin is. That's where I'm sewing to. Back stitch a little bit. All right, all done. All right, guys, so as you can see, it's closed up. Like I said, you can do this with any sewing machine, whether you have a home sewing machine or you have an industrial sewing machine. So the next, our next step is the same steps we did last time. I'm gonna make our stitch here. I'm gonna cut the zipper to my liking. And then I am going to attach the zipper to the um, seam allowance. Sorry, brain fart. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this. Cut it, cut it, cut it. All right, guys. So as you can see, two different machines, same finish. Um, just make sure when you're putting your zipper foot and I mean your zipper into your fabric, you are on sewing on the right side of the fabric the right side of the fabric and not the wrong side of the fabric if your zipper um back is facing the outside of your um fabric that means you put in the zipper in the wrong way so the back face the back of the zipper needs to be facing the wrong side of the fabric but that is it guys i finished the last one just as i finished the first one with the little tack and the zipper cut and the zipper tack here as well that is how you put in an invisible zipper on a home sewing machine and an industrial sewing machine thank you guys for watching see you next time and don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel